okay, I'll talk about something that's a little more, I don't want to say controversial, but unpopular opinion maybe, or maybe I'll offend somebody here. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Hello and welcome to another installment of this strange thing that I do on the internet. Today we have a slow roast ham and some Brussels sprouts. At first glance, it may not look the best, but I do believe and I promise that in my mouth and your imaginary, you know, through the screen taste bud mouth, it tastes good. It will taste very good. This ham has been in the slow cooker for 10 hours, so I might have not overdone it, but it is a little dark and the inside, I, I cooked it cut in half. So these two sides look a little kind of dry. Um, that said though, I think once I reveal the interior, I think this thing's just gonna fall apart really. And I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be melt in your mouth type ham. Brussels sprouts are just done with oil, salt. I'm gonna put a little lemon on there. And then we have a little dip I made for myself that I'm gonna have on everything. Uh, before we do anything more, we must. Apa, 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 apa. Pour. <laughs> Here we go. Switching it up today, and W is back at it again. You guys might wonder why, like, oh, why does he have A&W sometimes? Why does he have Dr. Pepper sometimes? It all depends where I go grocery shopping. And uh, for some reason or another, Diet Dr. Pepper in certain locations is some sort of, I don't know, mystery sought after legend of a drink because they carry literally diet everything else they carry normal dr pepper as well but just not diet so it's like depending on what store i end up at dictates whether or not i get the doctor or a &W. and today was walmart and walmart seems to not want to carry diet dr pepper which is strange to me because it's walmart you know, you'd think they'd have it all, because they really do have it all. Okay. Very, very good. I love me a good, uh, a good root beer. So, let's get into this. Got my proper knife and fork today. I needed, these wooden things were just not going to work for today. Now I'm lightly embarrassed to show you guys inside of the ham here right in the front. So I'm going to shy away from that because I don't want you guys to judge. You off to the side. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. You don't look good. You don't even have your makeup on. You're not ready to go out into this unsavory world. Okay, this is going to be so tender. Like no effort to cut now yes I, I guess it's a little dark yeah it's quite dark but like i said cooked it a while but it's gonna be it's gonna be delicious cut it into pieces here now the reason i was craving this so hard if i'm honest was i watched a video by the asmr bro shout out a fellow canadian and uh <clears throat> he had a christmas ham that his sister made and it looked so good nice and slow roasted and i do love a good ham so i, I had to go ham on ham uh, this dip here is a mayo mustard and horseradish wow you guys don't even understand how tender that is. It's so good. Just. Disintegrates. And I personally love that. Brussels 
lemon on any green cooked up veggies 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 are always is always a good time in my opinion there you go a little dip of that sauce mm. it's so good you don't even need a knife don't even need a knife I usually cut my ham into like flat, almost like a thick cut bologna style and like lay it on a pan and bake it. Don't know that I'll be doing that anymore. This slow roast is, is just different. Okay, so speaking of Walmart, do department stores like that give anybody else anxiety or like stress you out a lot? Or is that just me? For me, it's not even about um, the people there, like the environment that I can deal with for me it's just like when I have a list of stuff and it all varies like from department to department just the sheer amount of things the sheer amount of products and then certain items like me not knowing where to locate it in the store and then even if I like sniff it out and get close to its general area from there I have to like scan and scour the shelves in hopes to find this thing amongst all the products it gets me flustered I can't be the only one there's no way I know it's gonna stress some of you guys out too. I'm such a like victim to myself too, and there's there's times when it's like you go grocery shopping or you go shopping for for things, you have your list, and you want to get it all done in one go, like just one shot, because that makes sense. But then you're in there. Shit's not working out how you had planned. It's just, it's getting stressful. And then you like self-sabotage and you pull the ripcord and you're just like, ah, I'll get it another time. So now you find yourself taking like I trip every couple days. Because you weren't resilient, like you're just like, you gave up. I'm also weird like that too, I prefer getting groceries like every couple days if I'm on if I'm honest I go get a few bags enough for like three days go back
I'm not good at getting like a mass haul and like making a month out of it. <clears throat> I know, very generalized, <laughs> very fairly boring conversation, but relatable. Isn't that what we're all trying to do here? Relate, hang out with each other. discuss life things okay I'll talk about something that's a little more I don't want to say controversial but unpopular opinion maybe or maybe I'll offend somebody here in my viewership I'm sure I will because of the subject I'm about to touch on is popular with a lot of people I feel like but uh, <clears throat> I've noticed that there's a lot of like mukbangers who do true crime stuff in their videos. And I don't know. I don't mind true crime itself. If properly done, like as a TV series or documentary or whatever, like things like that. But I feel like if you're, if you're a mukbanger and like you rely on or like frequently do true crime, I feel like it's like a crutch and it's basically you not outwardly admitting like you're not very interesting as a person <laughs> and I'm sorry like I don't know maybe you're just interested in true crime maybe you actually could have more to say that is not reliant on some murder content but i feel like people use it as like a as a draw to get people in because it's true crime like i mean a lot of people like to hear about murder and crime and stuff right so like i, I like that's appealing but i also feel like it's just somebody being like well i don't want to think or be interesting or have any original like stuff to say from my own brain about my own life or my own views and perspectives so and eh, i'll just search up this this true crime shit and uh try my best to elaborate on it <laughs> to some degree <laughs> maybe it's an unpopular opinion i don't know I personally don't love it, but to each their own. Man, <clears throat> they were right in saying, like, when people are arguing, like, are humans supposed to eat meat? Are we carnivorous? To any degree. And so, like, I, I heard somewhere that somebody said once, like, yes, and that's justified by and proven by the fact that, like, sit down and try to eat a ton of meat. Like, it, it satiates you very quickly. Which would indicate that, yes, you know, you can't just keep shoveling it in, like, bread and things like that. Like, you know, that it's effective on your body. Your body knows, like, okay, thank you, like, that's what I needed, I'm good, 
you can move on now. Because I'm only like a quarter of the way through this ham. And my body is just at the point, it's like telling me, it's like, yep, you're good, bro. Like you've had enough ham. We don't need any more ounces of ham really. The real question is, how am I going to make further use of this ham going forward? Can I incorporate it? in a very sneaky way into upcoming videos. I don't know. There's a lot of ham to have left over that I don't know what to do with. Because once again, I'm in this predicament really day to day is like, I eat once a day for here right now OMAD they call it one meal a day uh, and per day I have to vary the meal to look brand new cool and dope for YouTube and not be repetitive so it's like once I eat a meal like this and I have a bunch of leftovers I really don't know what to do with it I'll figure it out but Once again, that's a chef's duty. Make use of everything. Nothing goes to waste. So, I'll figure it out. Don't you worry about this ham. It's safe in my hands. Um, that's all my stomach can take for right now. I just feel... My, my mouth, my palate's like, I, I can't have any more ham. And my stomach's like, you're good, brother. We have, we have enough. So, I'll end it there. Hope this was relatively enjoyable for you. It is delicious to me. A very basic meal, obviously, but actually really, really delicious. So... Hope you enjoyed that one. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.